Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of remote learning. Last time we met, we learned about a Baroque composer by the name of Antonio Vivaldi. We also learned about his most amazing composition, The Four Seasons. Enough of that. Now we're gonna fast forward 200 years and we're gonna learn about an Afro Cuban music style called Son Montuno. Son Montuno literally means Son from the Mountains. And in this style of music, we're gonna have many musical instruments such as the timbales, the cowbell, the guido, the maraca, the guido and cafecito. Are you ready? Because here we go! Instruments used for this song are the cowbell, the piano, the congas, the timbales, and a cymbal. Some of the other instruments also used for some montuno include instruments such as the maracas, the guido, the bungos, and of course, the one we're playing today, the clavis. For our first exercise, what we'll do is count to the beat. We're gonna count in groups of eight. Count with me to the beat. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent work, everyone. Excellent work. Now, as we count, we're going to use the word and in between the numbers. These are the subdivisions and will help us later understand how syncopation works. Take a big breath because it is a challenge. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. Good work, good work! For our listening exercise, we will have the clavis playing Son Montuno 2 3 rhythm. It is your job to figure out what beats are the clavis playing on. Let's take a listen. Did you say 2, 3, 5, and 8? Well, you're right! Now, if you notice, the clav is also played on an and represented by the plus sign. After what beat does the clav play on the and? Let's listen. Did you say the end after beat 6? Well, you're right again. Now it's time for us to play along. We will follow now the rhythm as it's written with the musical notes. You could play with your hands, a couple sticks from your backyard, your mom's cucharas, or anything you may have available. Here we go, let's play together. Follow along. Excellent work everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, see you all next week.